Okay, here we are, Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press, here at the Southern District of New York Courthouse. Today, Tuesday, May 17th, 2022. Now, in about two hours, there's going to be a press conference at the Southern District Prosecutor's Office about the indictment of one Grégoire Tournon of El Alliance. He's the one left holding the bag. He's indicted and doesn't have a plea agreement. His uh, collaborators, Trevor Taylor, Stephen Bond Nelson, they've both signed cooperation ad agreements. and. The statement of facts seems to say that uh, the prosecutors didn't find any wider problems at Allianz. This was just these three guys in a small little unit. Of course, Allianz has a significant other problems, so that may be something that we may make our way across the street uh, to ask or seek to ask. Uh, in other news, inside that'll depend because we're covering a number of trials here. Um, in one trial we covered yesterday it was kind of a, on the lighter side, although the, the courtroom was full. Um, it involves the design of a bullet whiskey bottle. Uh, and um, somebody has copied it. A company that previously had a kind of a long and thin bottle has gone with an oblong, soft-shouldered bottle. And uh, the, they were trying to show that the designer for Bullet, uh, the Bullet bottle, uh, had really stolen it from a museum. So you can find that story online. We're also still covering the uh, Korean Delhi bank fraud case. This is uh, uh, Mr. Ed Shin. And there, the prosecutors are being pretty aggressive. They're, they're, they've subpoenaed his tax records and his casino records, and he's seeking to quash that subpoena. It's interesting, the companies, they decide to say, other than this small problem, everything is okay, and those that they don't. Uh, in Guatemala, much to their credit, the U.S. State Department has uh, designated a uh, Guatemalan former attorney general for corruption, and that's good. The problem is that the U.S. State Department and U.S. mission seem blind to U.N. corruption. Uh, uh, under Antonio Guterres, Bribes were paid inside the United Nations by, by uh, Patrick Ho and the China Energy Fund Committee. Guterres hid his links to the China Energy Fund Committee through the Gulbenkian Foundation and threw out inner city press that asked, and the U.S. mission has done, as to date, nothing about it. We will remain on the case. We are seeking readmission to ask those questions as well. To be continued.